In this lesson, I'm going to talk about wireless networks. We did take a look at the network cabling and physical devices and how to make network cables in the previous lessons. Here moving forward, let's take a look at how to actually use wireless networks and what they are and how they're used within our networks. Simple definitions of what a wireless network is. It basically enables connection to the network without using a wired connection. So there you go. There are no more cables involved. Provides a degree of portability. Obviously it's flexible. Extends connectivity to a pre-existing wireless network that could be used to connect entire local area networks to the internet. So let's say you have 500 users working in a single office with your local area network and they all need to let's say use the internet. So one way is to use a wireless network or create a wireless network. Some devices can be connected directly to each other in a point to point fashion. So building a network is not just confined to physical cables anymore. You can have wireless connectivity between two computers, between your central device, hub switch, or for example your server to your computer and so on. And you can take all of those computers and then connect to the internet. So depending upon the structure or the topology of your own network, you can in fact create a wireless network. What we need is wireless adapters. And they simply enable connectivity between a desktop computer or your own laptop, for example, and the wireless access point, also known as the WAP. These network adapters come in a variety of shapes and sizes, including USB, small as a USB, by the way, a PC card that physically gets inserted in your laptop and has a jack, right? Or as an internal PCI card or PCI Express adapter card. So variations of physical hardware that actually uses the wireless technology to connect from one computer to the wireless access point. So this is what the wireless access point looks like. Simply enables wireless devices to connect to a wired network. So the wireless router, right? Router by definition means it routes data, right? Routes information from one computer to the other can also acts as a router, firewall, or an IP proxy. And some of these terms I'll cover later, but a firewall is simply the security layer for your data. So it gets transmitted and reaches the destination that is actually been defined. So the wireless access point simply enable the wireless devices to connect to a wired network. The wireless LAN or the WLAN, as I mentioned earlier, you can in fact create your own local area network completely wireless. It's simply a network composed of at least one wireless access point and a computer or a handheld device that connects to the WAP. Usually these networks are Ethernet based using UTP cables, Category 5 cables, it's pretty typical, but they can be built on other networking architectures as well. So you can use other cables like CAT6, for example, or shielded cables and other topologies. In order to ensure compatibility, the WAP and other wireless devices must also use the same standards, the same IEEE 802.11 WLAN standards. So you cannot have a device that uses the 802.1, for example, or any other standard and then try to connect to the wireless device. They have to match the entire network structure has to be built on the wireless. The Wi-Fi, also known as the wireless fidelity, is a trademark to brand products that belongs to the category of WLAN devices. Here are some of the standards. So I put together this simple grid where you can actually see the IEEE 802.11 standards, which has category A, B, G, N, and C and then the data transfer rate and these are the maximum. So for instance, the first row is 802.11a which has the data transfer rate, a maximum rate of 54 megabits per second. 
and the frequency of 5 gigahertz. Similarly, there are other standards that you can follow. So if you are interested in developing your own network, you can implement any one of these standards and make sure all devices match and you have a wireless access point and they're connected to your actual network. So in this lesson, I just wanted to touch base on the wireless networks. And in fact, you can actually set up your own network to be completely wireless or you can have a hybrid where you can have certain cables connected to your server switches hubs and yet use a wireless access point to allow for example connectivity to the internet so i hope this helps let's move to the next lesson